Good morning everybody and welcome to our first day in Prague. So today we're going to go and check out the Old Town Square and see the astronomical clock and things like that. Yeah, and things around the Old Town Square, so come and join us. So the hotel we're staying is, is the Golden Angel and then literally across the road is the Powder Tower, which is what we're going to see first. So we've just arrived at the Old Town Square now and we can just see behind us is the Church of Our Lady before time. Time, yeah. Tim, not sure. Some, something like that, yeah. But uh, it looks really nice and cool around here, so let's have a look around. Just gonna take in these views for a minute because this square is absolutely stunning and so open space. If we open it up to 0.5 on my camera, you can see how open it is. And we have the astronomical clock tower in the background here, which we're gonna go and check in a minute. But really nice views. So here it is, the astronomical clock tower. This is the oldest clock that is still working in the world, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so we just bought tickets to go up to the top of the astronomical clock tower and it was 300 Czech crowns each, which is about £11 each. Um, and we're walking up the stairs. Vicky's a bit... Oh, I'm not, I'm not excited to walk, but I'm excited to get to the top. We should have counted how many steps there were. Here we go, we'll count the steps from here. Yeah, we'll go up here. So this is what it looks like behind the clock. So these actual statues and figures rotate around every hour. Luckily it's like a ramp here, so it's a little bit easier to walk up. Still got a few to go. First little nice view. Some traffic lights here, because of how narrow the stairs after the top. Traffic lights are on green. Let's go up the tight stairs. Okay, so we've made it to the top. Luckily, I think we came up at the right time. We're being, we're being busy now. You can see how everyone's squished in around the corners. Okay, so we're going to head back down the stairs now and then possibly head out. So these are the floors for anyone wondering. So we're just heading down the stairs now. Um, really good views at the top. What do you reckon, Vic? For the, it was about £10.50 for the, for the money. Really, yeah, I'd, I'd say go and, go and visit. Probably took us around half an hour. Yeah. We're spent inside. There is different rooms to look at, like you would have seen in the videos. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely worth going, checking it out. I'll go and show you where to enter because we were a little bit confused when we walked in. Yeah, you didn't really know yeah. where it was. So we'll show you that now. So this is where you get your tickets from. Here are the prices. And here are the doors that you're entered through. As you can see, just under here, and the astronomical clock is literally just here. 
so only a little walk to the side. I've heard good things about the Black Angels Bar, which has like a rooftop bar. Um, you can see some nice views of the, the church in the astronomical clock tower. So we're going to continue our walk around the Old Town Square and exploring Prague. And I'm still, I still can't get over the amazing buildings. Um, just, just look up in life. So we're just going to have a little nice walk around the town now, uh, the city, should I say, and then possibly go and try and find some lunch. Okay, so we found ourselves to a little bit of like a shopping street and a nice little building right at the top that we're going to head up to now. So we've made our way to the top and this looks like it's a museum, uh, which we may have a look at in another time. But for now, we'll go and grab, grab some lunch. We're not quite sure where to go yet, are we? No. Looking at maybe Starbucks or this baguette place that yeah, we saw. Yeah, just have a look inside. Yeah, but yeah. Really nice view of the, it's a really nice museum that, from the exterior anyways. So we decided we we're going to have a look at this baguette place over here. However, there's one that's closer in the Palladium that we went to yesterday. Um, so we thought we'll go and have a look in there as it's closer to our hotel. Just thought of this Hanley store, so we're going to go and have a quick look inside. Yeah, sounds Christmassy. So we just finished up at Hanley's, actually really cool shop, so it had like a carousel in the middle, it had like a slide going down, um, all it's these like, like dream. yeah it was really, really good. Danny was in his of course, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not going to buy too much whilst we're here, um, just because we've got literally Ryan Air bags which we came yeah. with, so we can't fit much in, so. That's giving Harry Potter vibes that, Hogwarts. So we're making our way back into the Palladium, which we visited yesterday. And we've only just realised, me and Vicky, that it's pink, the building. Yeah, we, we both, didn't. both didn't recognise it. And then Danny went, since when was the Palladium pink? I know, I think because the lights were on, we've only seen it at night. I swear it weren't pink last night. No. But anyways, I thought it was like a bit of like a beigey colour, but yeah, that's no. like bright pink. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, we're going to head in for some food now. Um, we're looking at our baguette place and we'll show you what it's like when we get there. Okay, so we made our way to the Baguette Boulevard and we're going to have a look at these machines. All right, grilled baguettes. That's the one you were looking at, wasn't it? The grilled roast beef, yeah. which has roast beef, horseradish, grilled onions and cheddar. And then sweet ribs, which has roasted pork. What was that saying? Yeah. Must down. Barbecue yeah. sauce and onion. I think that's a type of cheese. Yeah, yeah, um, they, look, then, they look nice. Look at this one. This is duck meatballs, this is a uh, Master Chef winner. Master Chef winner? Duck meatballs, caraway that I like, uh, red cabbage, beanies and plum sauce and pasta. I think I might go for that. Go and check on it again. The roast beef and the sweet ribs look nice. Yeah, it does look good. They do have like your fresh baguettes as well. So you can have a look at that menu there. But I think we are going to go for the grilled baguettes. Um, flip that roast beef in. Would you like to add? Uh, no, we're all right. Oh, you can Ooh. change what? White flour. White, white flour or stone baked. Which one? Go with white flour. Yeah, that one's Yeah, go with white flour. It's like the original. Oh, we can get a half size. Ooh. Well, that's good for me. Do you want to have half size and then like a menu aside? You can get some like wedges as well. Yeah. Ooh, decisions. I know. I think that, click on that one. See what it is. You can get like wedges in a drink as well. What should we do then? Yeah, click it, let's have a look. Nice tea. Bottle. That's quite handy. Yeah, go for a bottle then. Oh no, it's extra money. Doesn't matter. Ooh, see. Wedges. Ketchup? Yeah. Wedges with ketchup. There you go, that show's done. And I think I might go for. No, I think I might go for the same. I think I might go for the sweet ribs though. The white flour. Yeah. The half size, yeah. um, iced tea, but I'll have just iced tea, and then ooh, what's that? Pepper, it's like pepper, 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 pepper,
sandwichy and then Arda. Yep. So that looks like it's coming 350 crowns, which I think that's pretty decent. It's like about yep. six quid each. Yep. <laughs> so we've got our Arda, Arda number 71. Came to a total of 350 crowns. Let's go and see what it's like. Right, we've secured the goods. And um, we're taking it back to the hotel just because it was a little bit busy up there and we thought have our own little space. We've got our like a park hotel, so why not make the most out of it? Exactly, and we're literally like two seconds away, so Yeah, exactly. So that's where we're heading now. And just like that, we're back into the room. Now I've got like a freshly brewed kind of iced tea. Vicky's gone for the bottled iced tea so we can try both. Yep. Now I did try this on the way here. It's a little bit like a Lipton iced tea. Um, I not say the best ever, like best I've had, basically. No. But it's, it is nice. It's like a typical iced tea, basically. It is lemon, I think. <laughs> lemon flavour iced yeah. tea, yeah. Vicky's gonna, Vicky's gonna try it. I'll put the lid back on the chair. Yeah, I think it's fine. It's basically the same as that You think one. it's just in a bottle? I think so. I think it's the same, yeah. <laughs> you pay extra, oh, that's the chair. I swear I would, have, I would have gone for a bottle if I knew that. Yeah. You just pay extra for the bottle, don't you? Yeah. Right, let's try the baguettes. Okay, so this is what the half size looks like. What would you say, about five um, inches? Yeah, yeah. Just smaller than a six inch, the worst of them Yeah. <laughs> let's give it a go. Oh, crispy. That looks like... Like we all. <laughs> right, what do you reckon, Vic? Not bad. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Decent flavours. Yeah. I wouldn't say best I've had. It has gone a little bit cold, but it's nice. It's decent. Yeah, I'll try mine now. Yeah. Mine's like slightly, slightly bigger. I've got the end ah. of it. Anyways, let's give it a go. So mine had like a different cheese on, didn't it? Yeah, I don't know what the cheese is. Mm. Nice. Mm. Like pulled pork. Nice. We've done a swap. Vicky's, Vicky's got the sweet rib one. Uh, this is what I do. I always order something that Vicky might like as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just me being a good boyfriend, I guess. So I'm going to try one of the chips now. They're a little bit stingy with the sauce, but it's fine. They smell really good though. So let's give it a go. Mmm. They're really good. Mm. Nice. Mm hmm Really nicely seasoned. Like wedges more. Yeah. Really good. So we've finished our lunch and we're going for a bit of spot of shopping, so I've seen this jewellery shop that we're gonna head into now. So that shop we're called Jewellery by Bohemia and Vicky grabbed herself some new earrings, which she shall show you now. The cut through the back. <laughs> You're gonna put them in? Are you in gonna wait? Second, yeah, in a second, yeah. Later. I'll show you when they're in. Alright, we've spotted this little Czech toy shop which we're gonna head into now. So we made our way back into the Old Town Square and if you look, that's where we were a couple of hours ago, right at the top of the tower. And we're just going to head down this road now. So this is where we're heading in now. <laughs> oh, what? 
Okay. Alright, so we're heading into the Sex Machine Museum. <laughs> it was about £10.50 each, we just thought, why not? <laughs> bit of fun. Yeah, a bit of fun, so we're heading upstairs. Not sure if I can show some of these pictures, but quick glance in the car and you get the, you get the vibe. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, <laughs> Nice, nice little uh, designs. Both of them on just yeah, that's where we're top, from. top yeah. corner here. <laughs> so they have my team, both of them here. And then literally every, every team you can think of. Let's zoom it out. Right, biggest shot you've seen, follow them. So we just finished up at the Sex Machines Museum and we also went into that little, what would you call them? Um, the Light Russian Dolls. Yeah, and they had a Bolton Wonders one, which is obviously my and Vicky's team that we support. Um, just really cool to look at. They had literally every team possible. Uh, I think we got, is it 6 50 acquired for yeah. it? Which is about £15 pound, and they're a bit unsure where to get it, but. Just because of the luggage Yeah, luggage size. If you bought big suitcases, we would have definitely done it, but. Yeah. Just taking it home. And I thought about issue. £10 pound might have been reasonable for it. But we're just going to head now and keep walking and see where it takes us. So we just stumbled across this hanging umbrella man, yeah, in the middle of the street, which we were supposed to look for, but Vicky spotted it. <laughs> so here we are. There's mushrooms on top of the building as well. Yeah, really, really cool. Huh? Yeah, it does look like he's hanging. So we're just going to walk now to like the river, and we're going to see the dancing house, which is pretty much like a house that looks like it's like tilting to the side. Yeah, it looks it's pretty. Like, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> looks pretty cool. But yeah, we're going to see in that now. So come on, join us. I love the colours of all the buildings. When we were talking before, me and Vicky, like the, the top of the building just looked really cool. Similar to like Amsterdam, Brussels, um, but just like even like that, that in the distance there. That's really cool. Top of the buildings. Cheers. So, as you can see in the background, that's the dancing house. So we're just seeing the dancing house, which is just in the background. And now we're going to head walking towards, back in towards the centre, see what else pops up. So we've just come to try and see the Franz Kafka rotating head. And we're greeted with this. So it looks like they've taken it down and doing like repairs on it, so it's not not here. So that's a little bit sad, unfortunately. We won't be able to see it. So we're a little bit gutted about that rotating head not being here because it looked really cool. So oh, well. yeah. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the old town and we're going to try and find the chimney cake and we'll show you what they look like in a second. So we just stumbled upon these markets. A little bit of a taste of what the Christmas markets will be like, which is here next week. Unfortunately, we're not there then, but let's have a look around these markets. So we've made our way back into the old town square. Let's go and find ourselves a chimney cake. So that was cool. If you can uh, make time to go and see it or plan it around your day, every hour they do the ring of the bell. So if you're passing, worth seeing. You won't go out your way to go and see it, but if you can make it within your plan, definitely go and see that. So we found this Czech chimney cake, old 
the old Czech chimney cake place, <laughs> which sells all these. So you have classic, or you can have classic with white Nutella inside. And then you have strawberry and ice cream, and vanilla and chocolate, whipped cream. So loads of different options. Uh, no, it was. Yeah. All right, so we went, we grabbed ourselves a classic one, which was 80 Czech crowns, which is about three pound, I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, we went for a classic one just because we thought we wanted to try what it actually tastes like. And then tomorrow we're gonna try a proper one. So I've gone a bit, you can do fist dibs. I'm ripping some off. Nice. It's like a bit like cakey. a donut, is it? A little bit, it's like cakey, but pastry, it's sweet, it's really nice. nice. Mm. No, I prefer it with like ice cream in and stuff, which is what I'm going to grab tomorrow, I think. Like yeah, so just thought we'd try it. Tomorrow I'll grab one with ice cream and stuff and let you know what it's like. So we're going to go and head inside St. Nicholas's Church here and have a look what it looks like inside. Just finishing up the rest of Vicky's chimney cake. It reminds you like a, a bit like a, like a cinnamon sugar donut, mm. cakey fried. It's really nice though, actually, and very filling as well. Because mm. Vicky's like had about half of it, she's full. Yeah. So I'm finishing it off, and then I might get one tomorrow or later. We'll see. Ice cream. We're going to head off to Madame Tussauds now. So yeah. come with us. Okay, so here's Madame Tussauds. Let's go and head inside. Okay, so we got our tickets. They were. Two ninety each. Let's head inside. <laughs> Pick, what were you doing then? Do it again. Do it again for the camera. <laughs> so it's telling you all about like this old historic little information about Prague Old Town. <laughs> yeah, Becky's getting scared by that. <laughs> Especially this this one over here. Becky walked in and went. It's all about the old Prague towns. Yeah, I've got to read it, but yeah, we're not, we're not really the type for reading it, but then we get confused at who they are. We've got Penelope Cruz, yeah. Smile. Uh, Danny and his friend George. Best mates since you were born, these two. Lovely.
Sheeran said, how is it? Meant to be. Let's see. Bigger than Ronaldo. Oh, slightly bigger. Oh, yes. Jackie Chan has got big hands. Big hands. Oh, I know. Michael Jackson has got probably average size hands. Because we're family. <laughs> because we're family. <laughs> Okay, so we're just finishing up at Madame Tussauds now. Really good, mm. really good fun. Probably a smaller Madame Tussauds than what I've been to before, um, but still really good fun. You know, if you've been to the Madame Tussauds before, the loads of fun, obviously taking pictures and stuff, so I'd recommend it. Just, well, for the price to be fair, it's, yeah. it's cheaper than usual ones. Um, but like I said, it is a smaller, smaller size, so you don't even need that much time. Probably about half an hour inside. Yeah, maximum. Yeah. So it's getting a little bit later now, as you can see by the sky, and we're gonna go and grab some lunch. We're not sure where we're gonna go quite no yet, <laughs> but we'll update you. So we've made our way back into the Palladium, of course. Go and have a look what, uh, what food tickles our fancy. Is that what you say? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so come to KFC. Create your own bucket, ooh. Oh, so you can pick what you want in it, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Two boxes. Quick burrito. Oh, sorry. <laughs> burrito box. I've got a thoughts in there. So I found this rice menu and it's something that we've been looking for, like a bit like a, a bit like a what would you call Panda Express and yeah, chopsticks yeah, yeah. kind of thing. So we're gonna have a look at this teriyaki one. Mm -hmm. They look quite nice them then. Burritos. What else have you got? Kentucky golden wrapper. Twister cheese and bacon, halloumi twister. Have a look on chicken pieces. Like your typical chicken in it really. So this is what we decided to go for. So we've got like a chicken burger, but it has pickles on and chips. I think that's like a kid's menu. That's 59 crowns. Then we've both gone for a teriyaki box. Nick has gone for like a standard one. I've gone for a grande one, so like a big one. It's only 14 crown difference between them. 317 crowns in total. Secured the goods and we're back off to the room. So let's try our teriyaki boxes just for size reference. Left one's Vicky's, right's mine. Put them on top of each other so you can see. There's a good size difference. I don't know if you can tell on the camera. All right, Vic. Oh, it's open for you. Look at that. Oh, sesame seeds. How much sauce are we talking? Mm, could be a bit Not more. Not so sure. However, but oh, it chicken. looks like there might be some below it. The chicken looks nice, though. It does look good. Yeah, it looks really nice and crispy. Crispy. All right, Vicky's going to try the chicken. Mm. Oh, a bit blurry. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Right, Danny's turn. Looks like it's good from Vicky's reaction. It's a sauce. It just tastes so nice and the chicken's so soft. Mm. How nice is that? Mm. That was a rice bit. Mm. Nice as well, yeah. A little bit on the hard side. So we've finished our food and we're going to head to um, a couple of like souvenir shops, jewellery shops and whatever shops pop up. Uh, we're not going to see any like sightseeing. We're literally just walking up and down having a look at a couple of shops. I can't show you too much in the jewelry shops just because the lights are so sort of bright, it's almost like flashing. Um, so we'll show you as much as we can do. Just heading into this Prague souvenir shop. All right. So we're just going to head in here now. Looks like there's quite a lot of magnets there. So. Let's have a look. I've seen these magnets here that are like 3D. And they're pretty cool. So next shot we're going to head in is this. I think it's part of this Choco story. Let's go and have a look inside. So there's a lot of different options as soon as we walk in. Um, slightly on the expensive side. Chocolate apple's not a bad price though. Oh, 
these a bit. Cornflake. Little bites. Oh, I think my mum makes better ones, what do you <laughs> yeah, reckon? <she> does. <laughs> Some rude chocolate uh, things over here, if you're interested in them. Chocolate wine. 220 oh, crowns. Chocolate body shower butter. gel. Body butter. Yeah. Everything going on in here. <laughs> so you have like this little bit here as well. <laughs> You've just seen these <laughs> chocolate sardines. <laughs> Quite a cool shop in there, but uh, we're going to go for the chocolate strawberries, how much for it? Uh, like five quid, wasn't it? Yeah, about five quid for one stick, I think. So yeah, so, like, yeah, so we thought we'd leave them. So we're just having a walk now. I think we're just pretty much on the Old Town Square now. We've not seen it at night, so we'll go and see that, see what other shops pop up. So here we are at the Old Town Square at night. Looks really beautiful, all lit up. Uh, we'll show you what the Church of Our Lady Before Time looks like behind us. The camera's not really giving it how good it actually looks because of these lights here. Look, looks really nice. All right, we're stumbled up on this place here, which is like a gelato place. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye bye. Okay, so we went for a medium top. We went for blueberry and pomegranate sorbet. Blueberry. Blueberry. First, let's give it a go. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Would you say better than the one that we had in Dublin that time? Was it blueberry that one? Pomegranate, possibly. Don't know if we had blueberry. No, we didn't. Nice though. I mean, yeah. I'm trying. Let's try some of the pomegranate as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. You nice. can tell it's like made with proper fruit. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So we've just got back in from doing a little bit of exploring with all like the little shops and magnet shops and things. Yeah, we didn't really buy too much, did we? No, we didn't. We just got the uh, ice, ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, just the ice cream. And then we just nipped into the little then to get a couple of little bits. Yeah. But yeah, Looking that's it for great. today. Tomorrow, we've got another full day. So stay tuned, like I said, in a couple of seconds, we'll be straight into the morning and ready to go. But obviously for us, we have to go to sleep and stuff. So we're just gonna have a chill now and then head to sleep. So we'll catch you in the morning. Hi everyone and welcome to our second morning in Prague. Okay, so the first stop off of the day is Prague Castle, which is in the background, which we're going to be heading into in a second. Some heavy steps on the way up there. Yeah, we're Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, we're, uh, we're going to head in now. We're going to tell you about the tickets and how to get them and where to get them and stuff, because we've not got them yet, so come and join us. So it actually is a free entry just to walk around like the grounds of Prague Castle. But we're just gonna try and see if you can get the tickets to go and see inside. So we're still in like the free entry kind of section. You can get as far as this. Um, I'm not too sure where you actually pay for it. So we're just gonna keep looking, keep walking around, but really nice views just before we head into the Basilica here. Some stunning views here if you just want to walk around for free. Some really nice views. Um, like I said, we're still not sure where you actually appear to enter, so I'm just going to keep walking around. So this is the St. Vitus Cathedral. Okay, so we've grabbed our tickets. Let's see, just behind the St. Vitus Cathedral here in this building just behind us. And there were 250 crowns each, 500 for both of them.
So we've just come out of the St. Vitus Cathedral, which is in the background. Some really nice um, stained glass windows in yeah. there, probably some of the best I've seen. Um, just We just walk around, you can spend a long time in there. We just like having a look around, like literally just taking in the views. We don't read too much, do we? No. So really. yeah, it was really interesting in there, so. Next stop off is going to be the St. George's Basilica, which is included in the ticket entry. So it's nearly 12 o'clock now, which means it's time for the changing of the guards. So we just uh, watched the changing of the guards there at like the main courtyard. You basically, if you go right to the back around the corner, you can see it. If, if you're not sure, just ask someone. Uh, it probably took about 15 minutes. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah, it was quite good. Yeah, actually. a little bit repetitive, like they did the yeah. same stuff as like quite a lot, but yeah, quite good, quite fun. Um, the music was good. I said it sounded like the Thunderbirds theme tune. <laughs> if you know, you know. So we're now just having a look at the Golden Lane, which is like an old historic lane. <laughs> So there's all little shops up and down here, which is pretty cool. They have like old wooden, old made stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so we're just finished up at the Pride Castle. And um, we're just walking back towards the hotel now and then we're gonna think about what lunch they get. Just speaking about the Pride Castle, probably text. We took about an hour and a half in there. You could spend three hours. Do you reckon? Yeah, easily. Easily, yeah. So make sure you make enough time for that. So we've spotted this place here that sells like your French fries. So we're going to head inside. How's it? How's it serve it? Uh, fancy fries. Alright, so we grabbed ourselves a large with ketchup and we that, that pot's so cool that. Yeah. Isn't it? Where it's like oh, separate. Um, this came to 90 crowns, gone bit you can try. Just try. Just outside here. Oh, Lovely. Mm. Salty to perfection. Mm. Mm. I'm trying one in the background. Mm. Oh, a bit much heat. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna have another Just try and good one. measure. Mm -mm. Delicious. Salty to perfection. That still that tub we can't get over it like instead Such of instead good of putting it on top. Creation. Putting it separate so you can dip. Yeah. Definitely get to fancy fries. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just had a quick freshen up in the room and now we're off back out exploring the city. Here and there for you. So this is the Municipal Library of Prague. Now that has the Book of Towers, which is basically like a tower of books that has like a mirror that looks like it goes on for ages. However, we can see the queue there and it's pretty much not moving. So we're gonna give that a miss, maybe come back later, see if we can pass it. But if we can, um, it does look pretty cool inside, but just for the sake of a Book of Towers, we're not gonna spend that much time in the queue. So our first stop of the day is gonna be a Clentinum. Apologies if I can't pronounce that correctly, but just gonna enter here. Mm. 
and then the next stop off is just the Charles Bridge which is in the background let's go and walk across little successful trip we just went into this perfume dupes and we just grabbed ourselves two little perfumes two one perfumes, yeah. men's one for me and one women's one which one did you get going with um, so mine was a dupe for C. Armani because yeah. um, I've had that before but I'm running out so I thought little top up one and then Danny got what was yours? Dior Sauvage kind of one yeah it didn't smell like exactly like it but it was just a nice smell nice and it was smell, about yeah. eight eight pound each so I just thought it was why like an not? everyday spritz yeah yeah why not so we're gonna continue down this road now some really nice views by the way as we're walking up and down here just off charles bridge so here is saint nicholas's church from the exterior and we're going to try and see if we can have a look inside so we're not going inside saint nicholas's church it was 130 check crowns um it's about four pound we just thought just to go in just to take a picture we won't be in there long no. um we've seen it from picture and stuff so we're not too too bothered so we're going to head on and we're going to try and find the, the gingerbread museum which i think is a gingerbread shop that sells gingerbread so mm -hmm. come and join us mm -hmm. all right so you just grab your bag as soon as you enter and vicky's gonna go on a spree here <laughs> oh she's going for this one here for this one as well. I think I might go for one of these. All right, so this is mine that I went for and Vicky went for the, <laughs> the miniature friend. We're both gonna give it a go now. All right, Vicky, do the honors. Oh, she's biting the head off. Oh, oh, they smell good. They taste really good. Yeah. But not very gingery. Really? Mm. Mm. More just like a biscuit. Hey, let's see what Danny thinks of I've his. Got I'm going for the hand instead. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, they're not. They're not like overpowering. No, but that's quite nice actually. They are nice though, yeah. Mm. And we got these gingerbreads literally just from this shop here. I'll pop in the address now. Okay, so the next stop off, we've just enjoyed our gingerbread. And we're hopefully gonna go on the funiculars, I think they call them. Kind of like a tram that goes uphill to the top of Petrin Hill. And we're going, and trying to see the lookout tower, the Petrin lookout tower. So we'll show you what it's like. So we're just gonna head inside now. It looks like it's 60 crowns up, 60 crowns back down. What do you want with it? Big idea. Oh, do you want it right at the top? made it to the top of Petrin. Let's go and explore around here. There's the Petrin lookout tower. I told you I'll take you to Eiffel Tower, mate. Oh. Wow. Like So we've just seen the Petrin Tower in the background. We've decided against going up it because yeah. it was just a little bit too expensive yeah, about for two, what it is. 220 crowns, which is about 
nine pound at the moment i'm gonna say um but we've had a look and you literally just walk upstairs to get to the top for and a there's view. a lot upstairs um and you can see a view just in the background which we're going to walk to now so we're going to choose to do that instead if you just have a walk around Petrin tower as well there are all these really nice buildings here um they almost look like they're not being used anymore but some really nice views and this is just a view in the background that we're just going to try and see so this building is actually a mirror maze that is 120 crowns for the admission for adults um not too sure exactly what it is i'm assuming just mirrors that you walk <laughs> around for four quid so if you, if you fancy in that it's literally right next to the tower and finally on petrin hill we're going to go and check out this observatory here we're hoping it's free of charge so we can just go and have a look inside if not we'll let you know all right so we're assuming that this is the observatory here <laughs> like a lookout point but the trees are just blocking everything so oh well yeah, nice little walk around there let's go ahead back to the petrin station now and then take the funicular back down to like prague center bit and then we're going to have a walk possibly check out a couple more things before we're heading back to the hotel and then we'll be out for food later on so we was finishing up on petrin hill uh, we're just going to let you know about it like i said we've got the petrin lookout tower uh, it's quite nice to walk around here would i recommend it I'd say get the funicular up to the Petrin yeah, Hill. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we've not done the, the lookout tower, so we can't be. We can't give our Yeah, we can't give our advice on that. Yeah. But I'd definitely take the funicular up to the tower. It's quite yeah. fun. Nice little ride up to the top. So here's the timetable. So it comes every 15 minutes. Okay, let's get on the funicular back down to Prague. We just got off the funicular and we're now heading to the Lenin Wall. So we're just finishing up at the Lenin Wall. Uh, really cool to see actually. Yeah. I've seen some people say it was a bit like overrated and stuff. It's um, actually better than I thought. Yeah, if you make it like a path just to walk through. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said again, don't don't just go out your way just to do it, but if you can path it in and do like a certain yeah. path to go around and see different stuff, it's definitely worth seeing. So we're now heading to Prague's narrowest alley, which is literally so small that they have to use traffic lights either side to tell you if you're going up and down. Yeah. And well, that's how we walk down. So that was the Prague's narrowest alley. A little bit unusual. Never yeah. seen something, anything like it really. No. Um, but yeah, worth really cool. See. Yeah, worth to see, definitely. So we're just both sat on this bench together and we can see the views in the background, which we'll show you and we have shown you. We're literally just gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and just take in the views. So we'll come inside the library just to have a look at the Book of Towers here. But there's a long queue again, so we just thought we'll come up and have a look. Instead of waiting in all this queue here, it literally goes up the stairs. So that queue looked like it'd take about 10, 15, 20 minutes. And literally just for the sake of looking in the mirror, we just thought we'd just walk around the perimeter, have a look at it, and then head back to the hotel now, which is where we're going. Still can't get over how nice the views are, especially when it's dark in Prague. I don't think the camera actually does it justice to what it looks like. But we're back in the Old Town Square now and then we're going to head back into the hotel, freshen ourselves up and then we're going to head out for tea. So we're going to head to Vapiano's. So here's what the menu looks like. So it's actually really cool. So you can pick your type of pasta and then obviously what dish you want. So like a bolognese, carbonara, etc. Um, I think Vicky's going to go for a pizza de avola and I'm going to go for a lasagna. So we've ordered our food, if you got. So you have to pay on this card and basically you get the buzzer when it's ready. Um, and then you pay at the end. Looks pretty, pretty cool, like, quite chilling here. But there's all different stations, so you have 
like your pizza, pasta, uh, risotto kind of thing, and then like your drinks and desserts on the other side. So here's Vicky's pizza diavola, which she's already trying. What do you think, Vic? Mm. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then this is my lasagna here. So lasagna al forno. I'll go and give this a go now. So Danny's gonna try his lasagna. Is it nice? Actually, really nice. Yeah. Oh, good. The cheese is nice, isn't it? Mm. Better than I expected, to be fair. Yeah. Good. Thumbs up from me. Okay, so we just finished our food at Papiano's. Really nice, wasn't it? It was really good. Yeah. I said the lasagna and the pizza were better than I, better than I thought they were, which was really good. Really tasty. Yeah. What we're going to do now is we're going to head into the old town and we're going to grab ourselves a chimney cake. That's the one with ice cream. Ice cream this time. So let's go and see what it's like. So this is where we're heading, the old Czech chimney cake. Um, and I think I'm going to go for the ice cream, ice cream vanilla. Is it? The middle one. Alright, go on Vic, try it. First first try at the ice cream, then chocolate one this time. We get a bit of the chocolate on it. It's a bit you have to eat a bit of the ice cream first. Ice cream, nice. Mr. Whippy. Mr. Whippy ice cream, lovely. Okay, Danny's gonna try. Try and scoop some of that chocolate sauce on it. Nice, isn't it? Really nice, this. We'll let you know when we get down to the actual chimney cake as well. So, we've managed to get the, uh... <laughs> so we've managed to get the top layer of ice cream off. Um, we're going to try it with a bit of the chimney cake now. Go on, Vic. Have a nib. Oh, it's a close up that one. Oh, oh. Look at them lips. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> nice. Really good. Cheers. On, on your nose. <laughs> close up. <laughs> Ten times better than the chocolate and ice cream, though. Mm. On this one. Now, we're just going to finish this off and then we'll let you know what we're up to then. And we're back into the room. So. Really nice chimney cakes, then. Mm -hmm. All right. Like I said, with the ice cream and chocolate, for me, definitely a lot better. We're maybe going for ones tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just going to get a plain one, I think. And I think I'll go for, like, the chocolate just inside, no ice cream, just to try them. Um, but, yeah, really enjoyed ourselves. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be the end of our two days in Prague... Prague. Two days in Prague vlog. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I hope you all enjoyed watching us both enjoy our time here in yeah. Prague. It's been lovely, hasn't it's it? It's been really, really good. Yeah, we've enjoyed ourselves. Definitely self. come back. Yeah, it's, to be fair, it's been one of the our, our favourite city breaks that we've done. Um, so yeah, I hope if you are going and you're watching this vlog that it's given you a good insight into what it's like. And hopefully, we shall be doing many more city breaks to show you. So if you do it, if you do like it, don't forget to drop us a subscribe, yes. like, and comment any questions down Leave below. A lot. Yeah, comment any places you want us to see, um, answer any questions or whatever. We're happy to do that. So yeah, thank you all for watching and roll on the next one.